Hi everybody, this is your long lost looming friend Debbie. Um, for at Deb's thing, obviously. Um, I know, it's been so long. I don't even know the last time I did a tutorial. It's been a while. But, um, somebody kindly posted it, and darn it, I forgot to bring my phone so I could give her a shout out. But, um, whoever did the most recent, um, post on my Totally Addicted tutorial, just like two couple days ago, maybe three, asked where I've been and if I'm going to be making any designs, and it just inspired me to get off my butt and get to work again. So thank you very much. I'm, I'm really glad because, let me tell you, this design, I, I instead of trying to come up with a new design, so let me look through all those um, ones I did a preview on in my first two videos, part one and part two, way back in May of 2014. This design I had um, given the identification as 4GG just to keep track of all these designs. And I thought it had some potential, though I thought it was a little sloppy. Um, these are all right here. These little thingies are um, cap bands. So what I did is I changed the order of placement. And this is what I came up with. And I love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is a full um, two looms length and it comes about, you know, it's plenty of room. It's not tight at all. I, I just love it in the monochromatic color scheme because it just gives this really beautiful kind of swirly design. This is the back of it, but this side makes better sense. And I named it Breezy. Bree. Like my daughter, Brina, B-R-E-E, -E, then dash Z, breezy, because it was easy peasy breezy. It was it is such a breeze to make. It goes really fast, super, super simple, and I think it turned out pretty darn cute. Here's one done with just 300 counts. It's a little messier, but it's still cute. And then I thought I'd try these because I have so many of these. I made this one all with with these, um, I forget what they call these. Ah, it's on the tip of my brain. But I just love it. It's so bright and happy. I bet my um, daughter Olivia would love this. So anyways, um, I kind of jumped ahead so I could get it done. So don't worry about my placement of all this because... I mean, that's how easy it is. I can get all that already placed and still have no problem showing you how to do this. So, I'm going to move my table up a little bit. So, we're going to have four across like this. And if you want, as you saw, I, I have beads on these. And these are really cool. Um, years and years ago, probably at least 12 years ago, the beading stores in this area were few and far between. Had you know nice stuff, expensive, but a long drive. And so I started looking online, and it took me a while, but I found this one place called um, Fire Fire Mountain Gems, and it's FireMountainGems.com. Oops, sorry. And um, I had a credit, like a fifteen dollar credit that. I had for years I hadn't used. I found these little um, square seed beads and they're so cute. Look at these things. They're so adorable. They're not perfectly square. They're more rectangly, but you know, they got four sides. So I got them in this color. And they're not expensive and their shipping's really fair. So I got this kind of an iridescent red. And of course you have to have gold and silver. I can't wait to play around with these. And then I found these really cool. They've got like, you know, they got clear ones. They've got these that have the, the silver lining inside. They've got these opaque ones that have um, iridescent or non-iridescent. But their selection of these square beads is unbelievable. And they, they just have everything. Everything you can imagine. Um, and if you buy like 12 items, then it goes down to the next 
price level and it doesn't have to be 12 of the same thing you can just mix or match so I think it's 12 or 15 items and then like there's a really all the prices go down on each item and then it goes up to like 30 items I don't know you have to go online and look but the more items you buy the less expensive each item is and I think their shipping's like you know it's one flat rate and it's not that bad at least in the United States so anyways, just had to give a little bit of shout out for them because, yeah, that's what got me all going with my beading. Someday I'll have to show you some of the, the um, stuff I've made. Let me see. I'm going to pull these out so they're easy. So I start out by just playing around making um, just beaded jewelry. So we're going to start out placing our eventual cap band here. And one like this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to do a single chain up the side. So we're going to just pretend I'm going to do it all the way at the end. But I'm just going to connect it up here. But you're going to do it all the way to the end or as long as you need to to make a bracelet. Um, I did notice though before I finish going any further. This one I did double length too and it's way too big. See how that is like, it's really lots of extra. I mean these these bands just kept it a little bit tighter and um, therefore shorter. So if you're using 600 count, you probably don't need, unless you have a large wrist, you probably don't even need to go the full um, two lengths two looms lengths. This one I think I did kept it about ooh, three or four pins short of the end and plenty of room. Especially if you add any kind of clasp or something. It, this fits me perfect the way it is. So anyways, just throw that in there. So see what I, I'm doing here is I'm going to just be doing this so I can continue it on, but just pretend you're doing this all the way up to the end, okay? So don't let any of that confuse you. It's so easy. And I love these two colors together. This will match pretty much all my outfits. <laughs> Not all of them, but about 80%. Okay, so we're pretending that all we have is the two single chains going up the two sides, plus, you know, these two, I think the borders that started out here, okay? The next thing you're going to do, and this is where I changed, um, I didn't, I didn't do this step next on this one, I did it, it was my like third step. Now it's my second step, and I like it much better because it keeps these um, in place. So you're going to place a cap on every pin on the outside. So see, now we're going to just pretend I did that all the way up to the end because I've already done it at the end. <laughs> I have to pretend I already did it. But we're pretending I'm just doing it right now. <sighs> so after the single chain beads, whether they have um, bands rather, whether they have beads on them or not, you do those up the side. It's like I didn't do, this looks cute, and I didn't put any beads on this. Okay, so now you've capped all the bands, I mean all the pins up to the, up the sides. Now you're going to do this all the way up both sides. Push it down a little so you have room to loom the bands over the pins. Okay. Now you're probably going to have to stop 
and pause this so you can you know, catch up with me, but I haven't slept yet. I mean, literally. I didn't go to bed last night. I just stayed up. Oh, I'm kind of wired. <laughs> wired. Okay, so... So you do those three steps, and after all those three steps are done, right, step one is the single chains up each side, step two is capping all the pins on the outside, and step three is putting these beads like that, bands, <laughs> beads, bands, okay, so this is what it looks like, and you can do this. Now, and I will have to go off camera and finish this because I'm not going to sit here and do all this on. Good, you know, make the cap and you're going to stretch it across these two center pins and you're going to do it all the way up, and of course, including this one here because that'll be your end cap. To hold the hold side in place. Isn't this easy? And and looming looming it back is a piece of cake too. Goes really quick. So anyway, oops. I think you get the gist of this. It's breezy. Easy breezy. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera and finish the next 20 some of these and I'll be right back. I've got all my caps on. So I turn it around and this is all you have to do. And you can go up one side and then up the other. It's usually quicker than going back and forth. There's no reason to, um, you know, go back and forth. Um, doing one side won't affect the tension or anything on the other side. Anyways, you're going to take these two guys out. And then it's this. You bring this one up. And then this one over. And it's important, you can't just go all the way up, you know, put all these over and then go up. It won't it won't look right. So you have to do it this way. So now you're gonna go grab that band down there, then take this one here. Make sure you grab the right one. I don't know how much of this I need to do because, I mean, it's, you know, that's all you do. And then it looks like this on this side. I don't know, how much easier can a, a design be? <laughs> It'd be interesting to see um, what color combinations y'all come up with that looks clever. But I happen to really like um, the monochromatic. It doesn't, you know, because it is a busy design and I was playing around with trying to do some color patterns and I don't know, it just looked too, too chaotic. But there's some of you that are so great with putting colors together. I thought I was good at it, and pff, I pale in comparison to many of you, but that's okay. I'll just copy your ideas. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go sit down and on the recliner, put my feet up, get all these loomed, and I'll be back in 
hopefully be really thrilled with how this one looks. Can't wait to see it. So now all I have to do is take it off the loom. love the color of these bands. Of course, I love the color of those beads. So pretty. Okay. Before I got on camera, I did, um, some of these beads get stuck kind of hidden and you have to kind of pull them out. So this one, these are hiding right here. This one actually get buried, but just slide them up on the on their bands. So they're more centered and even. Oh, my fingers are sore from doing that so much. There you have it. Very pretty. I have to straighten out these beads a little bit so it looks a little neater, but oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, I love it. I love the sparklies. Oh, I love sea beads with the silver lining. They're just so sparkly. Very, very nice. Definitely going to match a lot of my little summer outfits. Well, thank you for watching. And I hope to see your renditions of Breezy on Instagram, as you know, um, at Deb's thing. Um, be sure to check out my design, all my images I post. I might make another one of these too. It kind of makes me feel like my um, totally addictive design where I want to keep making it. <laughs> so I might make a couple more of these to wear around with other outfits. Okay. Thanks for watching.